Yes, blind or visually disabled people can use computers with assistive technology. This means all hardware or software used by people with disabilities to help and assist them use high-tech products. However, there are many types of different disabilities that requires different technologies. For visually impaired people, they can use screen readers, refreshable braille displays, and digital screen magnification to interact with high technology devices, and in our context to use computers easily. For those of you who might wonder, how would blind people see and control the screen? Or how can they navigate the computer without having to look at it? This is where the screen readers come in handy. These features have been around for more than 30 years, and their main role is to analyze the content of a website and to provide a text-to-speech translation or a feedback using an artificial voice. The playback speed can be changed to the user's desire. The user can also skip from heading to heading, click links, and do other impressive things. The screen readers can also dictate what you type on the keyboard so a user with vision disability can be noticed if they made any mistakes. Not only that, but reading emails and web pages is also easy with this feature. The screen readers can access email programs such as Microsoft Outlook, Mozilla Thunderbird, and other programs to compose and read email. Surfing the net is also possible with using web browsers like Internet Explorer, Mozilla Firefox, Microsoft Edge, and Google Chrome. Just like sighted people, a blind person can explore any website freely with these screen readers. However, it only works as long as the website's content has been coded with proper tags. If not, then a screen reader user cannot quickly locate what they want to read. For computers, there are software products like JAWS. It is a program for Microsoft Windows that allows blind and visually impaired users to read the screen either with a text-to-speech output or by a refreshable braille display and NVDA, which is also known as non-visual desktop access. It is considered a free and open source portable screen reader for Microsoft Windows. Both of these softwares play the roles of screen readers and allow users who have vision disabilities to use computers just like sighted people. However, the only difference is that when people use the mouse to explore the screen, Blind and visually impaired people can navigate freely using a system of key commands and also other keyboard shortcuts. As we said before, when it comes to reading what appears on the screen, screen readers do an amazing job at giving an audio feedback. Not just that, but they can function even better and deliver their best experience when they are connected to refreshable braille displays. The latter means an electronic way of reading braille writing. However, here, it won't be like the hard copy Braille. Refreshable Braille displays are a flat keyboard-like device that translates text into Braille and enables blind or deafblind individuals to read any text using their fingers. The displays work by pinning on a device pop-up that can be read with a finger-like hard copy Braille. When users finish reading a certain line, it goes to the next line and the person reads it too. This technology is extremely helpful for deaf and blind people who cannot use text-to-speech facility. As for examples of Braille displays, we can list Focus by Freedom Scientific and Brilliant by Humanware. There are also some softwares that supports Braille, such as iBrailler Notes and Google Braille Back. Speech recognition software allows a user to navigate, type, and interact with websites and some softwares using their voices by giving commands. They can write, search, and create with the help of this feature. There are many examples of built-in dictation softwares like Siri, Apple Dictation, Windows Speech Recognition, Google Docs Voice Typing. Surprisingly, a software that can work with the voice command feature is Photoshop by Adobe. Now, visually impaired people can also use Photoshop with voice control feature. Whether they want to create art or just beautify their images with this feature, they can choose colors, layers, fonts, brushes, or delete the backgrounds, etc. They are faced by a variety of features and options when it comes to Photoshop. Thanks to the vocal command feature, their creativity won't be restricted anymore. Now, as we approach the ending, you might ask me the following question. How can people with vision disabilities learn to use these features and even master it? 
Well, this is where memorization plays a big role. These people might not be able to see well, or they might be fully blind, but they can still memorize the things that they learn by the time. When figuring out how to work with these assistance technology features on their own or by reading the accompanying user manuals. They can also use online forums and email-based discussion groups where blind computer users discuss such matters and can demand answers from other users who are experienced in the field to answer a question or getting an advice. And lastly, there are technology trainers who are specialized at teaching blind people and able to give training even in person. With the existence of assistance technology, blind and visually impaired people can read, study, explore, and stay connected to the digital world. They no longer have to stay isolated from other communities. They can read the latest news, enhance a picture by Photoshop software, and even learn other languages anytime, anywhere, since these features don't work only on computers.